Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. And in today's video, this is something a little bit different. I created this template that you can use for a bunch of different planes. And the idea behind it is to do an easy setup for your rates, your expo, and your servo reversing and like your gear reversing as, as well. So everything that I did is stuff that is available inside the radio to program. So in other words, what I set up here, um, you could set up yourself um, just by using the VARs, the logical switches, and the other stuff that the radio has. So here we go. Let's go we're going to go ahead and go through a little demonstration of, of what I did. So the first thing is this is the template file, and I just labeled it over there, and I bound this plane to this, um, this model. So as you can see now, I do have control. So now let's go ahead and go into the setup mode. So the way that I have it is the three function buttons you hit and hold down for three seconds at least. Model setup mode, click T3 up to start. Okay, so it said click T3 up to start. So now I just hit the T3, which is the throttle over here, the throttle trim. And by the way, I am not using the actual throttle trim to do this, so your trim will not change. Aileron reversing. There it goes. So now it's going to do reversing. The first one that it said is aileron. So I take a look at my ailerons, and it looks like I don't have to do reversing for this particular plane. So let's go click over. Elevator reversing. Elevator reversing. Let's check elevator and elevator looks good. So no reversing required for that. And rudder. Rudder reversing. Let's check the rudder. And finally, I have one that is not correct. So this I have to change the uh, direction of it. And to change direction, reverse the channel with trim T2. And so I'll just go over there and then I'll hit T2. Back three. There it goes. I'm reversed. Okay, so I've got my reversing done. I can move forward. Aileron rate set. So this is how you set aileron rate. So my rate switch is over here. Low rate, medium rate, high rate, medium rate. And if you rate, notice the low rate, medium rate, the surface rate. is all is already deflected. Now instead of using the stick to do it, not right now the stick does not have control of the aileron. I'm using a switch. So this is like moving the stick all the way in one direction. And then there's my neutral, and there's my stick all the way down. So in other words, as I measure my rates, I don't have to hold the stick over. Okay? And then I use these buttons over here, FS1 and FS3, FS3 to adjust my rates. So pick a rate. So this is my medium rate. Medium rate. This high is my rate. high rate. Let's say I want a little bit more rate. I just go up. Let's say that's good. Of course, I would be measuring it. And then I do my medium rate. Medium rate. And go up, down until I find a good rate. There it is. High and rate. let's go rate. to low rate. low rate. There's my low rate. And I can adjust, and obviously, I could measure it with a ruler if I needed to. All right, so there's my rate set for my aileron. And then once I'm done with that, and by the way, I don't know if you can hear it, but while I'm in the setup mode, the radio is vibrating every few seconds to let me know that I am in a setup mode and this is not a flying mode. Okay, so let's move forward, do Expo. Aileron Exponential Set. So this is Aileron Expo and you see the Expos over here on this screen. And same thing, medium I've got rate. medium high rate and rate. high rate. Low and rate. let's make low rate, let's make that 30%. Medium, medium rate. rate, let's make that 35. High rate. High rate, we'll keep that. Oh, I'll make that 45 just to make a change. There it is. Medium rate. Okay, we can move forward. Elevator rate set. And elevator rate set, same thing. I can move up and down. So there's my up. Low rate. Low rate, medium, medium rate, rate, and high, high rate. rate. Medium rate, high rate. And let's make the high rate 100%. Medium rate. Medium rate. Medium rate. You can check with a ruler like that. And let's go to low rate. low rate and check that. And let's give it a little bit more. 
There it goes. Okay, so there's my low, medium, medium rate, high rate, and high. Medium rate, low rate, medium Looks rate. Looks like my medium rate low is rate, lower than rate, my my uh, low, low rate. rate. My low rate is set actually kind of high. So let me bring that down. Say somewhere around there. Medium, medium rate, rate. Make that a little bit higher. Make that there. And high there's rate. my high rate. Great. And um, we can move forward. Elevator exponential set. There's my expo, so I can go ahead and adjust my expo. Same thing, medium based rate, on rate. rate. So rate, my elevator expo is in, in there in the center, and we can make it whatever we want. Thirty. Medium rate. Thirty-five. Rate, medium rate. And forty. Rate. That's good. We can move forward. Rudder rate set. And rudder, same thing. I can move my rudder over to one side, adjust it. So this is my high rate right now. Let's make it more. There, medium, medium rate. rate. Low rate. Low rate and adjust that. Let's go 65. Medium rate, high rate, medium rate. There it low is. Low rate, medium rate, high rate, medium rate. Now we move rate. forward. Rudder exponential set. Rudder expo, we can check my rudder expo. And medium rate, high rate, let's do the same thing. Rate. Let's make it 30 on the low. Medium rate. Make it 35. Low rate, medium rate, and then 40 for the high. That seems good to me. We can move forward. Flaps up position set. So now we this is my flap switch for this particular plane. Flaps half. Flaps up. So I go to the flaps up position and then I use these same buttons and adjust flaps up. Say I'd say that's good. Flaps half. Flaps up. Okay, we can move forward to flaps half. Flaps half position set. Flaps Go to the flaps half. half position. Now I can adjust that. Flaps up. Flaps half. Somewhere flaps around there. Up. Flaps half. And let's go to the down position. Flaps down position set. Flaps down. And now I can adjust that. Say there, Flaps there, and Flaps there. Up. There you go. Move forward. Retract reversing. So I check my retract switch. So right now that is backwards from the way that I want. So I hit this button over here. So it says there, uh, uh, reverse the retracts with T2. So I'm going to hit T2. Next. Now I'll reverse. Perfect. And then now I go up. Adjustments. T3 down to go back. Or press and hold FS1, FS2, and FS3 to exit. So if we press and hold FS1, FS2, and FS3 at the same time, we exit out of the program. If we want, we can go back and retract review. Reversing. There's my retract. Flaps down. Position flaps set. down flaps half position set. Go through. Flaps up position we set. can adjust, right and then we can go back set. and adjust those. But let's say that I'm happy with this, and I can. Uh, Leaving model setup mode. Leaving model setup mode. There it goes. Done. Now the plane is ready to fly. <clears throat> so again, this was more of an exercise, not an actual product. This was sort of an ex exercise to see what I could do with the standard ethos programming with rates. I'm sorry, with VARs and uh, with logical switches. And if you take a look, I can kind of show you what it does. But I can come over here. If I go to VARs over here and... Here are all the VARs that I use to make it run. And then if I come over here to logic switches, and here are the logical switches I use to make it run as well. So it looks like I've got about 39 logical switches and a bunch of VARs uh, to create this program. I also installed a bunch of audio files to say all that stuff. But this is something that somebody can create if they understood the programming. The whole point of the FreeSky Ethos operating system is the power that it has. So if there's something that you need and something that you want, you can get it programmed or get somebody to program it for you. Um, my inspiration for this was Mike Shellam, who makes one of the best um, glider templates. And his system is a lot more complicated than this. Uh, but it does the same thing. It walks you through a glider setup for competition for the competition gliders. Um, anyways, um, that's it. I, it was just sort of to show the power of, of um, 
of the Ethos operating system and what you can do. I may make this available if somebody wants it. I can make this available on the Ethos uh, website. Um, but just a disclaimer, this is just something that I you know, threw together. And if you guys want to use it, it's at your own risk. But it does work. If you take a look over here, mixes. Let's take a look at the rates for the mixes. Edit. If you take a look, you don't have any expo and you don't have any weights on this page. It is actually in the VARs. So this one is a VAR for um, expo and that one is a VAR for um, weights. And then we can go over there and take a look at that. And essentially, if I go to VARs, And here's my rates positive and rates negative. So in other words, this is how I reversed it. So instead of hitting the reverse switch, I just made them 100% or positive and negative um, weights. And the negative weight is essentially reversing it. But if we take a look at aileron rates over here, you'll see that the numbers that I, I, I put in there are now in this VAR. And this VAR is what goes to the mix to do the rates and also expose the same way everything else. So anyways, um, just want to show this to, to uh, show people that you can do a lot with this radio if you wanted to. Again, I may make this available um, um, on for a download, but just use it. I used it. This particular plane actually flew with this and it works awesome. But anyways, thank you very much, guys. Have a good day.